Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are back with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. If you missed the last episode, then, well, guys, we we made it here to Talmberg, and well, at this point, well, a number of things have happened, guys. There's just been a lot of exposition here at the beginning, but for uh, just just to kind of sum up what we're doing right now we are actually trying to get back to scallops and in the last episode we uh, we kind of failed miserably at our task and <laughs> lord, lord divish said that he was going to keep us in there but he caught us stealing and i guess was so disgusted with us that he just decided to throw us out um i guess knowing exactly what is going to happen to us so anyway <laughs> What we're going to do here is fast travel to Scallets. Now, my big concern here is that we are not very well rested. So, oh shoot. Okay, so we can't even we can't even fast travel. So, guys, uh, honestly, I don't even know what uh, to expect here unless we can find a horse. We're kind of in a in a low in a low place right now. We were really desperate in the last episode, and. And you know, took to took to a spot of thievery. You know, honestly, if we don't find a horse that we can steal pretty soon, then what I am going to do is just cut some of this out because this is this is going to be just dumb. I, you know what? Honestly, I should have. I probably should have bought some food there too. No, let me. What does this do? Adds 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Okay, well that's not really what we need, but I mean that's... It looks like that is basically a, a healing potion, so... We will probably need those. As we discussed in the last one, we pretty much don't have any of the armor that we would have been able to get. I mean, this is... You know, it, it's, it's interesting that it gives you kind of uh i guess you'd say another <laughs> another way to do it and i guess you'd say this is the uh, the low down miserable way to do it but it still is another way to do it and you know this is what's happened we've been thrown out on our butts here and it sucks it sucks and i mean like th this place is just well, I was about to say this place has been deserted, but no, there are some people here. And fortunately, that rain has gone away. There's a camp here. Now, I do remember there was a codex entry that I wanted to look at from last episode, but we, we'll take a minute before we do that. This place is, is heck and gone from here. Like, can we really not fast travel? I do want to fast travel, but we cannot fast travel. Guys, they're really kind of just... Oh, okay, no, they're getting us. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. That would have sucked if they made us run or walk the entire way there. But it's it's looks like it's effectively fast traveled us. It's like they've already gone. Okay, so I don't remember if we had picked up a shield or not, but we are now we're going to be very hard pressed to defend ourselves. Um, now Q is uh, the button to parry. I think it's it when we were looking at the controls in the last one, it did say that to block. But look at this, guys! They just came and massacred everyone. Like, what is the point of that? Like, why? Why do they ma- Like, why? Like, even if you just want the silver, okay, take the silver, but why kill the people? Like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It's just to make a point? Look at this. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can we can loot. Um, he's got 
that and it looks like it's in pretty bad condition but the mushrooms are in okay condition so we actually do need some food so that's probably a good thing to do okay let's see how far do we have to go we still have a decent little little ways to go here it would be nice to have our horse but okay we've got a guy on the road here what's going on there hey man just what's that just back off well, I never. okay Pig. okay here we go so we can lock a uh, block raises weapons and hold in defense now i think you've got to block in certain directions um So you've got to make sure that you're, fo uh, um, you know, blocking in whatever direction his attack is coming from. Um, and then the stamina, we already know that. And then we have to attack from a direction. So you probably want to attack from whatever direction he's not holding his weapon in. And if we remember from our little sword fighting lesson in episode one, we want to try to chain attacks together. Let's get let's give him a stab, Rooney. Oh, eat that, dude! Oh, okay, we slaughtered him. Uh, we can give him a mercy kill. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, he did not. He did not stand up to that. We didn't even have to block. We didn't even have to block. It looked like he was going for one, um, going for a hit, but it did not work out. So he's got a coif. It looks like it's pretty jacked up, though. Um. Now it looks like it's this stuff is worth some money, so this. I mean, let's go ahead and take some of it. Um, I don't think. I don't think that. Well, actually, no. He had a gambeson and a a jerkin, so we can put this jerkin on, um, over our gambeson, right? Is that accurate? Yeah, we can. So go ahead and equip that. Okay, that's cool. And we can equip the koi if I, I guess we'll do that. I mean, I guess... I don't know if, if when it's in the orange, if that means it doesn't do anything. I'm not sure. Um, uh, is this better than what we've got? I don't think it is. Well, it says it's worth it's worth more money. Yeah, we'll put it on. Why not? But it's in worse condition. Man, these people are just all slaughtered. Let's go ahead and sheathe our sword here. Uh, the pretzel's in good condition here. So we were able to take that guy out. Let's see which road we want to take. So we want to, We basically just want to go straight up to this gate here so I don't even I don't even know where that other road was was going yeah it looks like we're on the we're on the right path here I, I guess wait what that doesn't this doesn't make any sense which, which of these two paths do we want to take it looks like there was a path to the left but I don't see that. I think we want to take this path. Yeah, there's a path over here. We want this path. Right? I think this is the one we want. That's confusing. Yeah, they just they just cut these guys down where they where they stood. Um, yeah, I don't know if we need to just take all this junk. Ooh, that guy's got some money though. We will take that. So worth looking at these guys. Uh, he's got an axe. Uh, it's not worth that much money though. But we've got a little bit of food now, so that's gonna help us out a lot. Because, guys, we really kind of stuck ourselves into a pretty bad position here. And I'm really... I think we're really going to regret not having that armor. Mm -hmm. 
It's the charcoal burner. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna loot everyone, even though I'm sure that a couple of these other guys will have some some groshen on them. Uh, I'm not gonna loot all of them. Oh man. Even a hung this. What the heck? Okay, I'm not gonna kill you, dude. What did these poor souls ever do to them? <laughs> you don't loot these guys, I loot these guys. And that guy is out of here. A drawn weapon causes fear amongst villagers and cities. They may even call a guard on you. Okay. Well, ooh. Ooh, I want that bandage as well, actually. We don't have one. So, I mean, this is, this is useful. They've got stuff on them that, that more bandages will actually be uh, something that we need. What's that? What? Uh, there's, uh, someone's around. Oh. Oh, crap. That was not a very big hit that he delivered. His, uh, his weapon's faster than ours. Okay, let's, uh, let's back up here. We're, we're, um... Man. Yeah, he's... Oh, eat that, dude. No, no, no surrender. He hit me a couple of times. Um, I, I think it's being very forgiving there, because we, we don't have very good armor on, so... Ooh, some gloves. That's nice. And whatever this plate kotors is, what is this? Uh, it's a piece of armor that protects the elbow. You know, we definitely need that. And he's got noble shoes. So this is definitely a good, um, a good little upgrade for us here. Let's go ahead and um, equip some of this junk like this. We need those, and these patched hoes are in better condition, so we'll equip those. And then the noble's boots, those are in better condition as well. Okay, sorry if there was a little bit of a blip there. I had to go and take care of something in IRL, as it were. Gotta use that lead speak. Uh, in any way... It is much later in the day now, so hopefully we can just jump right back into it and not have too much of a too much of a uh, interruption here. So there's another torch here. I don't really know, like, how long do these torches last? I mean, it looks like we have this one, and it's fine, so I don't know if I really need another one right now. So let's just kind of keep moving up through here. Man, this place is just... They just ransacked it. I mean, that army came through here, just completely destroyed everything. I mean, they picked this place clean. Well, I mean, that being said, I guess they they did leave a Groshen on that one dude. So I guess they didn't completely pick it clean, but they they really did uh, a good number on it. So um, that is, ooh, let's take this bread. We don't have anything like that yet. This is, we can't get through there. Let's see, what is this looking like here? Guys, I don't know uh, what the best way to get in here is. It looks like there's a gate around the other side. So we could maybe swing around this side here um, and then come in this way because it, this gate is clearly, clearly blocked. So, you know, I don't know if we're going to encounter any other, uh, any other nefarious characters on the way. It's just, just uh, surreal. And this, <laughs> man, this downboard, just being out in this, um, you know, and 
I mean, fortunately, the the lightning is a good bit away. But, I mean, that would actually be extremely dangerous if it was closer. So we've got someone else up here. Uh, you know, I've got suspicion. It takes me a while. to. It's not like an instant draw on the sword. So I'm actually going to have it out when we approach this guy. We might just scare him off. You know, it was saying people were going to be kind of influenced by your appearance. Hey, and he might just... Yeah. Well, you don't want none of this, dude. Oh, yeah, you don't want this. Oh, 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 he overpowered me there. Oh, the, the, the swing had already started. Okay, we're going to mercy kill this guy. Oh, whoops. Um, I think that, uh, that, our, that we kind of interrupted our little cutscene there. But anyway, let's go ahead and loot this guy. See, so he's got a marigold decoction. Uh, that kind of is that little healing thing that we saw. So we definitely want that. Um, his ordinary tar jacket is uh, pretty seriously jacked up. That being said, this black coif there, that looks like it's um, going to be nice compared to what we have. Um, I don't think any of this other stuff is going to be that great, except for the bandages. We, we will take those. The rest of this stuff I don't think we really need. Um, and we are starting to fill ourselves up here. I mean, I guess we can take, like, the hose and, I mean, we'll take the jerk and it's, it's more valuable than some of this other stuff that we've, we're carrying. Ooh, this guy's got a Groshen. Nice. Okay. Is if we if we have the chance. Okay, yeah, so we did make it around to the other side here. Um, okay, we're not gonna just loot all these guys. I know I keep saying that, but it's tempting. Guys, we've got like no money right now, so one is actually a, a fairly, fairly decent deal. Well, I mean, I don't see a sword. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, he's got a sword. A shard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick it up. Let's see what else he's got. He doesn't have any armor, but he's do, he does have a Groshen. Let's go ahead and take it. Um, I mean, guys, I'm sorry. It's just uh, the, way it's, the way it is. Now, it seemed like our parents died kind of in the middle here. Because um, we were looking straight down from that right there. Straight down into this area. And we saw them. So they should be... I saw you did this to you. In the end, you were here. Didn't run away. Didn't abandon like me. Man, the the rain is is really brutal, guys. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the sound down. I mean, maybe we turn the voice sound up a little bit because I I feel like it's only going to be an issue right or, or when we've got the rain. But I, I do want to hear you know what's going on a little bit more. Um. Anyway. Let's keep moving. Now, oh, why? Not you. Oh gosh. Supposed to be you, Bianca. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Just wait a moment. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. Yeah, and I'm gonna take all. Take this as a keepsake to remember you by. My dearest. Jeez. Okay. Now she did have this ring on it. On her. Uh, it gives you 11 charisma. So that's kind of cool. So if we put this on. What is our charisma right now? Actually it's 5. So if we equip this. Uh, it goes to 6. Actually that doesn't make any sense. Um, But anyway it goes up. By putting that on. So. I mean, look at this. Like, every, like you know, they, they were more or less indicating that he didn't really travel a lot. I mean, he must have been to Tomberg uh, before. I don't know if there was uh, trade or, or I guess, I don't know, maybe at least you'd know the way there. Um, but, I mean, this was this was your world. I, I mean, his world. I mean, I, I would imagine you would very rarely, you know, travel out of out of this. You know, guys, I'm, I'm just talking out of my butt right now. I, I don't really know how often you would travel out of this if you lived... In, in, in these times, but I would imagine that travel was um, 
was a very big deal. You know, it's not like you can just hop in your car and drive. So this is this was his world. It's just completely destroyed here. Actually, run away again. The one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. I'm not entirely certain that's what his dad would have wanted. But first, I have to find the shovel and I'll take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. My goodness. All right, guys, we need to find a shovel and uh, bury our freaking parents. I mean, we can't we can't do anything for uh, all these other people. And I mean, I guess we'll bury Bianca as well. Uh, but, you know, geez. OK, so let's have a look around here. So <laughs> find a shovel this entire area. So let's go ahead and look. Um, there's a dog barking down in this way. I, I do vaguely. Um, remember, I, I definitely remember how this part ends, um, for sure. Um, so, you know, cause there, there, there definitely, there definitely is that. Um, let's find that dog. Yeah, he's over in this area. Well, there's a shovel. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Bishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Uh, and isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Um, I don't know. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I guess it really depends, like, what you were doing over here. Um, okay, he's protecting his master. Never mind, you're looting corpses as well. I mean, I, you know, I was kind of doing that myself. So I'm not going to never mind here because we actually do need, uh, need that shovel. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? Uh, I want to bury my parents. Uh, that being said, I mean, we got three speech and five, apparently five of the toughness. I'm, and that, that must be, you know, as it was saying earlier, uh, when, when it described this, the toughness is going to be impacted by the stuff that we're wearing. And we have that sword. We've got a little bit of the armor and stuff on, uh, you know, relative to him. So, you know, that might, that might work. I don't know. Um, but I don't know. Do we want to appeal to this guy's sensibilities? He is kind of being a dick right now. Let's go with, uh, I asked first. I asked what you're doing here. 
How about you give me an answer? If I want to confess, I'll go to the priest. Go away and leave me in peace. How is that a success? Literally, how is that a success? So he's got a nine and we've got a five. So somehow we uh, got me a, got a success there. Have I disturbed your looting? Uh, lend me that spade. How is this? This guy looks like a chump. How does he have a nine there? Anyway, that doesn't, that's neither here nor there. Well, actually, it is right here. Um, and there? I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, lend me that spade. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave. I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? I'll stick it up your arse. Um, <laughs> it's Sir Radzig sword. I mean, that's true. But this guy is, I mean, like, honestly, guys, like a fine sword for that little piece of crap spade that is not in any way, shape, or form a fair trade. Uh, and he would, he would obviously know that. This guy is really being a tool bag. Fine. I'll take the spade and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. So it's me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Is, is Bijak, didn't we already fight him? What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I think we fought this guy when we were, um... You know, when we were painting that guy's house with, uh, with poop. Although, that being said, he is beating the crap out of us, isn't he? Haymaker! Oh, we got him! We tagged him! Haymaker! Oh. Yeah, I keep going for the big ones and it's not really working out for me. Dude. Okay, let's give him a kick. Okay, we need we need we need to we need to back up here. Yeah, he's 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 he sees that we're out of stamina and he's pushing, which is the smart thing to do. We don't want to run out of stamina. Because I, I, I think that that's where the actual real damage comes in, is when you get hit and you're out of stamina. You really want to keep that up. That's what it seems like. Okay, yeah, we don't want to throw the haymakers anymore. That's that's a high risk, fairly low reward. Oh, right in the, right in the knot, right in the noodle. Right in the kisser. Oh! That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! Okay, well, we could... It wouldn't let us tackle him. It would not let us tackle him. That would have been nice, though. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at our wounds here, because that guy really jacked us up, didn't he? Um, let's see. We've got tiredness. We've got an injured torso. Your torso is injuring. This injury can result in bleeding if you're not careful. And we've got an injured head. That can result in bleeding as well. Okay, so that's what those things mean. Where did the spade go? Okay, here's the spade. Um, can we, can we, like, give the dog some food? I guess not. Easy there, boy. Lonely. The good master won't be needing this. Okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with the dog. The dog's, uh, just doing, doing his, being a good, good boy thing. I don't think we have any meat left on us, or else uh, I'd like, I don't know, see if we could throw it to the dog or something. Uh, but anyway, let's go dig a hole under the linden tree and then see if we can get this done here. My goodness. have your have your life like completely change it's like not like literally yesterday like 
he was just you know doing what he did every day like working the forge with his dad you know and it was a it was like a beautiful not rainy day and then there's infernal rain no i mean yeah but man just complete complete change i wonder if there is anything left in here that would be of any use i know that they came through here and really just ransacked it yeah there's nothing left we we took everything before all this stuff happened even any food left in the pot no they they really yeah they really they did a number on this we can't take the axe you're gonna like it okay where can we dig start digging my gosh Good boy. He really is shouldering this burden very well, like considering just everything that's Damn happened. Should probably pull that cart down here and, and maybe try to use it. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Tell him, Runt. I cut the bastard down. Dude's name's Runt. He looks pretty big. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Dang. Something tells me you do not want to get hit by that. And we, you can't really dodge. Smash his head in. You can't really dodge. Cunt. Way off. I wonder if it's le legitimately even possible to <laughs> to like do well against that guy. I mean, that's just crazy. Look at that. He just smacked the crap out of me. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, 
for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I would have killed some people. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> wow. The games are over. Go! Disperse this rebel! It's Robard. I'm kind of surprised he's willing to come after uh, all my shenanigans. Wow, so now, now they're uh, playing the intro credits. So that was just the introduction, guys. That's quite an intro. How about that, guys? Yeah, we got the crap kicked out of us. Well, they buried them uh, for us, apparently, so that's that's nice, at least. I, I think that that I, I think that that is so much more, <laughs> more I guess I would say curious uh, you know um, playing it now that uh, that I had that that happened where I where I got caught stealing and then kicked out of, <laughs> kicked out of the castle it's like well why did Robard come it's like Sir Sir Divish is like oh well you better go save that guy you know <laughs> As opposed to, you know, if you went out the if you went out the other way, if you snuck out, they're like, well, dang it, well, you better go, you better go save him, um, since he snuck out, you know, if that was if we managed to succeed at that, so it's, it's just kind of interesting. Not that we really got to see that happening, but that would have that would have kind of been the, <laughs> I guess the the logic or the orders that must have been um, given for Sir Robard to actually come out there and do that for us. That guy does not look pumped. Not at all. Whoa. Quest started. Awakening. Um, save your parents. Well, guys, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Golly. Yeah, this is not not a very pleasant dream. Is there Oh, there is a there is a, a shield here. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just wandering around aimlessly. So let's kind of move towards um where it's telling us to go. It says, huh? You need some help? Dreams are kind of like that, right? You can't really get done what you want to get done. Henry, there's work 
to be done. My gosh. My goodness. Wake up, Henry. It's past sunrise. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. Um. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? You are covered in filth, lady. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Yep. Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Well, apparently not all. That actually, that actually was commendable of you. And... Uh, being a distraction. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh, oh I feel like a horse <laughs> fell on me. If it's near the midnight, why are they ringing the bells? Worse. But at least the fever's broken. Uh, how did you find me? Uh, yeah, how did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Uh, what were you doing in... Uh, yeah, what were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Jeez. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. They were looking for me. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Yeah, that's interesting. That is interesting. Um, so, uh, I mean, you know, I'm guessing they just... <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to account for my incompetence and stupidity getting caught, especially getting caught by Sir Divish. I think that that is really the um, <laughs> the pretty. Uh, I don't. I don't really know the the interesting, the funny part of that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm tired. Let's go ahead and pass out. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. It is nice of them to to care to care good for morning, him for all this time. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. My goodness. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Uh, where am I? Well, she said we're in um, the uncle's mill in uh, Ratai. Um, I don't know. I guess we can ask to see if there's any more details this about that. This is your uncle's house. We're in Ratai Mill. My uncle's miller, Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you, too. Okay, I've been lying around long enough. I've been lying here long enough. 
Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Jeez. A fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Oh, that's crazy, yeah. Um, well, yeah, we do. We do owe her uh, an awful lot here. Yeah, she, I mean, she really did save us. She really did save us. I mean, e even the, the, just that moment that she bought us while um, uh, while Sir Robard was coming in uh, saved our bacon, totally. I and then everything eyes. since. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, let's go ahead and you, young fellow. let's go ahead and I'm going to go and talk to him here in a second, but um, I am going to do that one in the next episode. So guys, that is where we are going to wrap it for this one. I do think that that is a pretty good place. Let's go ahead and take a look where we are on the map, though. Um, we don't really get to see where we are in relation Actually, whoa, yeah, so we were way up here before, so they took us all the way from Scalitz down here to Ratai, and that's interesting. So when Radzig was up here talking to Sir Divish, he was like, we're going to march on all the way down to uh, Ratai because that is going to be uh, safer for us. So they went quite a bit further. Uh, they went quite a bit further uh, that, that night. But anyway, that is that is where we are. Uh, we can get our things, I guess, from the trunk while we're wrapping up here. But uh, we do have these maps. Um, I'm not going to grab them this very second, but we can because this is this is just our stash, so we can get this from like any of the like official places that we can sleep. Um, yeah, that jerkin's totally messed up, but we should be able to sell it, I guess. And interesting, we do have this, which I think is just like a broken sword here. So, yeah. Yeah, but hey, it's better than nothing, guys. It literally is better than nothing. Um, so, we've got, we've got this black padded coif. Let's go ahead and equip that and our hose there those the scarf gambeson nobles shoes leather jerkin hunter's gloves and no we don't want those and we do want bianca's ring and i think that is pretty much everything that we have that we can equip right now so yeah, we're pretty, <laughs> we did, they didn't wash they didn't wash any of this stuff for us, but we're doing pretty good. So we will uh, we will move on from here in the next one, guys. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be picking up right here next time. <laughs>